Hey guys, King Global Korean here, rocking the sexy awesome Mackie Mac. Uh, I know recently I've been doing a lot of private videos on like how to neck things, so I figured might as well, if anyone's actually interested, just kind of do a video on where to get some stuff and like what's and everything, so it's the English version of course, here we go. Start things off, there are two products that are currently out. We have the Tagiro one and the Royal Paladin one for the two main characters. Aichi and Kai, whatever. Um, they're both pretty basic. I know Royal Paladin one's probably not quite as good because you don't get as many cool cards, but you do get the Blast Blade in there, which is, like, I think one of the best grid twos right now, one of the best things that we're going to get for a while, and is $10 by itself, so that's almost worth it back. Plus, you get a couple of good grade threes, good combos in here, but that's not as important as the Kageros, which is, if you guys played Yu-Gi-Oh, or if you've come from whatever channel, you should know that, like, recently, Yu-Gi-Oh began stuff like Dark Worlds, Agents, basically decks that if you get a couple copies of it, you can merge it together and make a good, really, really good, amazing deck. Kagura is one of those. Buy a couple of these, get your Overlords, get your Gokus, and a couple of things from set one, you're good. You're good to go. Yeah, these are both, you can find them at whatever hobby stores you actually stock them, or there's plenty of things online, which I'll go to in a second. Um, we go into the booster packs. There's currently two boosters, with a third one coming out in May. First set we have is Descent of the King of Knights, set one. Uh, this has, like, the backbone for the major four decks, I think, which the main four, like, the main character decks in the anime, you got Royal Paladins, Kagero, Oracle Think Tank, and the Bootcappers. So those are main four decks. You get some pretty cool cards for everything. You get basically a structure of whatever deck you want to build. You can modify your Paladin starter into how you want to run it, or get a few things you need to make Kagura as competitive. It's it's a really good starter set, I think. It's the best way to set it. We got this one that just came out a little while ago. The it's called Onslaught Dragon Souls. This um, has some modifiers for other decks like the. This line for to make Kagero another deck. You've got the amazing Soul Saber Dragon for the Royal Paladins, basically the boss monsters. Just a couple things for every clan. And then there's also you could now play two more clans. The um, I keep on saying the Grapplers, <laughs> Grand Blues, that deck I showed you the other day, and the Crazy Demonic Football Team of Spike Brothers. So yeah, this is pretty cool. That makes it so there's six playable decks when quote that are out now. Plus, you can merge whatever, just play however you want to. So these are the two things that are out right now. These are two decks. Um, as far as going to get stuff, I know that we're still looking for a lot of hobby stores to kind of carry things. But, like, if you can go around, if you ask, they might stock up. They just depends on how you do things. I know online there's a lot of places starting to carry it now, like Ultra Reality Games, Toy Wiz, Troll and Toads, all those shops are starting to really get it. I'd recommend, like, if you went to Toy Wiz, they actually have deals right now where you could, I think it's like $25 to get started in three packs or something like that, to do all those combos so, like, you can kind of get started that way. And it's pretty good deals overall online. Also, a cool thing, I haven't seen anything for Dragonic Tactics yet, but this pack, I'm starting to see it appearing in Walmart's Myers around, so... Like I said, this is good, basically a starter pack, so if you can find them, pick them up, there you go. As far as news goes, there's actually two things I want to mention coming up pretty soon. Actually, this month in April, we're going to be getting two new trial decks. Now, what these decks are going to be, I can't really confirm yet, because there's been rumors that we're going to get the Oracle and the Nova Grappler ones to complete the four Japanese ones. And, because of Simulcast, there's also rumors that we're going to be getting... The new Dexter main characters in Season 2, Golden Paladins for Aichi, and his Fire Dragon Kagura turns into Narukamis, which is awesome. I'm going to play them. I'll have a discussion on them later. So yeah, there's two new tri coming out this month in April. I just don't know what they are yet. And finally, next month in May, we're going to be getting um, our Booster 10 3. It's number 6 in Japan. They're simulcasting them, so awesome. But it's going to be called Breaker of Limits going to have new support, like I said, the two new main decks, Narukamis and Golden Paladins. I've seen a lot of stuff for Granblue, which is awesome, because that's playable now. 
And there's just a couple other things. There's going to be a new clan that has to deal with heal triggers. It's just a bunch of cool stuff that's going to be coming out. I can't wait for it. So that's, that's the news and weird buy thing real quick. Just wanted to help you guys out. I'll, I'll probably have a YouTube video up later, but who cares? Really, it's just a card banger. It's a better game. Anyways, hang on. Go buy these things. They're easy to find. Tiger is a good starter deck. This is pretty cool right now, I guess. I know. Stay on, sign out. See you later with some of the videos.